The brand new Apple AirPods Pro 2 and the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro are the newest flagship earbuds for Android and iOS, but how do the two actually stack up? Some might say, just buy whatever ecosystem you're in, but this comparison consistently is among the most requested on my channel every single year. And why is that? Well, technically each of these work with the opposing operating systems, yes, but I think really what people want to know is what the other side is like. Some people are considering switching ecosystems, some people are debating which ecosystem to enter, some have a few devices in either ecosystem, and others just wanna know which company is making better technology. So in this video, I will test out the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro and the Apple AirPods Pro 2, and I'll give you a sound quality analysis, a microphone test, a feature comparison, and of course, an in-depth active noise cancellation comparison. A lot to talk about, let's get into the video. All right, so between these two earbuds, there's so much to talk about. I wanna start off with the price. That's obviously an important thing. Samsung is more likely to go on sale. They hold their price much less consistently than Apple does. But at the time of release, $250 for the AirPods, $230 for the Galaxy Buds. So approximately the same. And I'll have links in the description so you guys can check out the latest price whenever you're watching this video. Now, let's start off with the basic differences with the design. The first one, of course, we should talk about the cases. You can see the cases are of relatively similar size, although slightly different dimensions. The AirPods case is a little bit thinner, but you get more of a longer rectangle versus a, a squattier square you're getting with the Galaxy Buds. The Galaxy Buds case has the advantage of sitting open and upright on a desk so you can put the earbuds in while it's charging on a wireless charging pad or in the back by USB type C. And so in general, I, I really do like the Galaxy Buds case. It's also available in three different colors. Uh, this is the black one, there's also purple and white, whereas the AirPods only have one color. And while the case is a really nice solid design, a little bit glossier as well, uh, it does kind of sit in a weird open shape like that. It doesn't bother a lot of people, but for me, I kind of like to charge the case when I'm using the earbuds, just the case is always juiced up when I'm at my desk, for example. The case on the AirPods does have some other advantages though. For example, on the right side, we have a little lanyard loop so you can have uh, some kind of string on there if you want to hang it on a backpack or something, just make it less likely to lose. And that's gonna be a theme throughout the AirPods case in general. We'll talk more about that when we talk about the features, but the hinges, both very sturdy, both very satisfying. I think because it's a little bit of a longer lid, a longer lever arm on the Galaxy Buds, you can feel slightly more flex there, but honestly, that's a very subtle difference. Now the earbuds themselves have a drastically different design. It's no surprise the AirPods Pro 2 are very similar to the original AirPods Pro, which is a very tried and true design. People really do love it. And so I'll leave it up to vote. You guys can let me know which one you think looks better. The stem on the AirPods Pro 2, a very classic look. You really can't argue. This is something that we see all over. It's just so widely adopted that it's a classic look. And then of course we have the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. These are a little bit smaller, a little bit more flush. They don't have a stem sticking out. Uh, some people say the white one looks a little like a cotton ball. I really think the matte black here is a very subtle look and I kind of do like that better personally. But like I said, leave a comment and let me know which one you think looks better. As far as comfort goes, this one is a little bit of a toss up. Obviously, we all have different ears. Everybody's ears are weird. But for me personally, I would say that the Galaxy Buds stay in my ears longer and better when I'm doing something like a workout or even just talking on the phone. I find that specifically the left AirPod, it's really just my ears, I guess. When I'm talking, even the movement of my jaw has them working their way out of my left ear and eventually they fall out. Whereas the Galaxy Buds kind of have a little feature in the natural design of it that grip the inside of your ear. And I find that I, not only do they stay in when I'm talking on a phone call or doing whatever, but I've run for eight or nine miles and these really don't even need to be readjusted. Despite not having a wingtip, they stay in my ears surprisingly well. Now, the AirPods Pro 2 do have an advantage over the previous AirPods Pro. If you tried the previous ones and they didn't fit because all three sizes were too large, well, we now have an extra small tip on there, so that's an advantage. As far as like general comfort though, not just staying in your ear, but which one feels nicer in your ear, they both feel really good in my ears and I can wear them for a long time as long as they don't fall out. They're both light, they're both pretty secure, and they're both relatively small as well. The controls, 
we do get a pretty big difference there. So I think this is an advantage for the AirPods where first of all, we do have pinch controls, which I know a lot of people do like tap controls, but if you're outside and it's cold and you're wearing gloves, if you're outside and your hands are sweaty or if it's drizzling and your hands are otherwise wet, touch controls don't always work the best. They can be very finicky, whereas pressure sensitive or, or just force controls, you pinch it, it's a lot more reliable for me. In addition, the AirPods now have swipe controls as well, so you can go up and down in volume, but Samsung came up with their own solution to that as well. When you put these in your ear, you actually can go to Samsung Labs in the app and you can enable uh, double tap your earbud edge, which is more like your, like your cheekbone or your ear right there. If you double tap that, that can control your volume. So super cool use of the accelerometer in here. And so really you're getting volume controls on both of these. The water resistance on them is again, a little bit of an advantage to the Galaxy Buds IPX7 versus IPX4. Realistically, I haven't really had an issue with either one of them, but if you drop them in a puddle, maybe that would be a difference there. They both do have wireless charging, but the other ways in which they charge are very different. We have MagSafe, which is technically wireless charging, but it sticks to the wireless charger on the AirPods, of course. We can also charge them on an Apple Watch charger. So if you're traveling and you have an Apple Watch charger anyway, you can juice up your AirPods with that. And of course they have lightning on the bottom, whereas the Galaxy Buds just have wireless charging and USB type C. But an advantage here is that if you're using something like a Samsung phone or a Pixel phone, you can charge these on the back of your phone versus iPhones currently cannot do that. The battery life, similar enough between these, you're getting six hours of battery in the AirPods, 30 hours when you include the case, which is really impressive. And the Galaxy Buds have five and a half hours, so slightly less than the earbuds, and only 18 when you include the case, and that is looking at active noise cancellation on. Okay, so let's start off with a microphone test. These are the Apple AirPods Pro testing out indoors. I haven't done that little snap transition in a little while, but leave a comment and let me know how these sound indoors compared to the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. Now these both have really good microphones compared to a lot of other earbuds in the market, but head to head, which one sounds better indoors? And now these are the Apple AirPods Pro 2 with a school bus behind me, tons of wind and traffic out here. So this is gonna be a good test for a noisy environment. And here's the Galaxy Buds outside in a pretty loud environment with a lot of traffic behind me. So let me know which of these you think sounds better. And as a side note, elephant in the room, I usually don't wear a hat when I'm filming indoors. I am right now because I, I just ran five miles. I'm training for a pretty long run, obviously testing a lot of smartwatches as well. Talked more about that on Instagram, but my hair is a total mess right now and I had to get this video done. So that's what's up there. Now, before we get into the sound quality and the active noise cancellation, can't skip out on the features. This is one of the biggest reasons to buy either one of these earbuds compared to a lot of other ones out there, right? Like Sennheiser has great sound quality, other ones have great active noise cancellation, blah, blah, blah. When it comes to it, features are, are really so nice to have. So looking at these, the Galaxy Buds do have slightly more customizable controls. You can enable or disable single, double, triple tap and choose what the tap and hold does. And with that, we have some other options for uh, double tap on the earbud edge if you want that. And you can open Spotify easily with the, with the Galaxy Buds. We do have gaming mode on the Galaxy Buds for a lower latency. We do also have probably my favorite feature, and this is kind of a sleeper. Not many people talked about it. This is the neck strain notification. So if you're wearing them too long, uh, the accelerometers can detect when your head is pointing down and it'll notify you that you're looking down too long, too much strain on your neck, especially when I'm traveling. I get this notification way more often than I realized. And it's really nice that you get that. They both have find my features if you lose the earbuds, but it works a lot differently. So AirPods have a speaker on the case. Remember I said the case here was really all about finding these AirPods because everybody loses AirPods. Uh, so we have a speaker on the case. It'll make a sound when you open and close this, uh, when you put the earbuds back in, but also if you want to find the AirPods, you can go in here on the app and obviously ring the AirPods themselves, play a sound there, or play a loud beeping sound of the case. I, I showed it in my original review. It's really pretty loud and very impressive. But on top of that, they also have the precise location feature that we see on AirTags. So you can use your iPhone to point in different directions. It'll tell you where the AirPods are, how far away they are. They make it super easy to find that. And with the lanyard loop on the right side, you really shouldn't be losing the case on the AirPods. The Galaxy Buds, like I said, you can still find them with the SmartThings app. Uh, it'll show you where you were last connected to them, but not quite to the same extent that the AirPods are. That's a huge advantage for AirPods and for 200, 230, $250, whatever, 
finding them is going to be very important. You don't want to lose these. Now, the AirPods also have adaptive EQ and they have audio sharing as well. So you can switch easily between different Apple devices. And although you can do the same with Samsung between the Samsung devices, for me personally, I just, this might be debated. I find that Apple works a little bit better with this. So if I'm on a MacBook and I get a phone call on an iPhone, it's just so, it's so seamless how easy that switch is without ever doing anything. But neither of them unfortunately have a true multi-point connectivity. So you can't connect to like a Windows laptop and an iPhone and switch easily with either one of these. I don't know why. It seems like the technology's there, but they're just trying to build up their walled gardens like, I don't know, come on guys, why can't we just do that? They both have a fit test if you really want to make sure you have the right fit. I've never personally needed that. And we have spatial audio versus 360 audio. Uh, Apple is a little better now because they have an ear scanning thing, so it is a little bit more tailored to you. So the 360 audio is marginally better on Apple. But like I said, I don't really use that all that much, but it is a cool feature and it will be used a lot more with FaceTime, for example, in a group FaceTime. You can hear where different people are. They both work with mono mode as well. So if you just wanna have one in your ear, that's great. And of course, a lot of people use both in their ears and they just turn on transparency mode, which kind of brings us into the transparency and active noise cancellation comparison here. I'm starting off with transparency mode. The Galaxy Buds have come a really long way and they sound pretty good. You can hear a lot of things around you. You can talk and, and hear things pretty clearly. They also have speak to chat as well. So I forgot to mention that earlier. If you have uh, like music playing pretty loud and you start talking to somebody, it can bring the volume down, turn on transparency and you can you know have a conversation. And then when you're done, it'll bring the music back up. But back to transparency modes. The AirPods definitely do a much better job of this. This is something AirPods have really been known for. It just sounds so natural and real and, and it doesn't sound like a robot at all. Everything sounds very, very much like you're not even wearing anything in your ears. So that's a huge win for the AirPods when it comes to transparency. But let's get into an active noise cancellation comparison here. So for the active noise cancellation on these, I did a couple different tests. The first one was an airplane test where I just played the sound of a jet on a speaker at a set distance away and turned up that volume until I could hear it through the earbuds with ANC on. Now, with the AirPods Pro, it was blocking up to volume 19, while on the Galaxy Buds, it only blocked up to volume 15. So for raw power for a general low frequency white noise, the AirPods definitely do a better job. The second test I did was a female interview test. Typically female voices are a little bit higher, a little bit harder for ANC to block out. And this again, we saw the AirPods come out on top, blocking up to volume eight. And again, the speaker was at a set distance, whereas the Galaxy Buds were only blocking out up to volume six. So not the biggest difference there, but definitely the AirPods pulling ahead. And the third test I did with the active noise cancellation can't be quantified quite as easily, but that was just in a room with an air conditioner, pretty noisy air conditioner. When I put either of these in, they really make it disappear very well. So I would say while they do a great job, the AirPods again, come out a little bit on top here. So you don't have any kind of hissing or artifacts at all. It just really is a natural clean silence. Whereas the Galaxy Buds, you do get a tad bit of little white noise here and there, but you really do have to look for it. Overall, both really good active noise cancellation but I think the AirPods pull ahead. And next up, we'll talk about the sound quality. When it comes to sound quality, the AirPods Pro second gen are much bassier than the previous generation, but they're still not quite as bassy as the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. So looking at these, the AirPods have a little bit more clarity, a little bit more detail on the high end in particular, while the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro tend to have a warmer profile with more weight and more punch on the lows, but can lack some clarity on the highs. So like hi-hats can be a little bit blurred together, uh, snares can be a little bit mushy from time to time, so not the most high-end detail there. Uh, and so that's where the AirPods would pull ahead, but the Galaxy Buds are giving you that more full and warm profile that can easily be EQ'd within the app. So between the two of them, it definitely comes down to preference. For me personally, I do like having that more warm base on there. So I think that the Galaxy Buds sound better in my opinion, but you really can't go wrong with either one of them. And at the same time, neither one is quite at like the Sennheiser level of audio quality. Now, lastly, I need to mention compatibility. A lot of people think that the AirPods only work with Apple and the Galaxy Buds only work with Samsung or maybe just with Android in general. The truth is they're Bluetooth earbuds. So either one will work with any device that has a Bluetooth connection, whether that's a smart TV, an Android, an iOS, a Windows, Mac, whatever it is but you are going to sacrifice a lot of features if you're not in their respective ecosystem. When it comes down to it, these are both very impressive pairs of earbuds. They really have come a long way over the years. So which one is actually the better buy? I'm gonna make a lot of people very angry if I tell you, but 
I'm going to tell you anyway. So I would say it, it changes by the day. Not, I promise it's not a cop out. The sound quality is something I prefer on the Galaxy Buds. And the feature set on the Galaxy Buds as well really is something that I do prefer. But the AirPods have better microphones, they have better transparency, they have better active noise cancellation, and within the Apple ecosystem, they move around so smoothly. So if I'm traveling, I would probably prefer the AirPods so that I can switch between a smooth transparency and a really solid active noise cancellation. But if I'm just looking for better audio quality and those you know nice features to have when you're playing games or watching movies or whatever, the Galaxy Buds are a really solid pick as well. Leave a comment, let me know which one you think won this battle. As always, if you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing. I'm Mike O'Brien, thanks for watching, see you next time.